Hello viewers! Now if you follow my channel, you know a couple of months ago I replaced the radiator fan assembly on my 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. Now it's a common problem with these fan assembly where the bearing on the motor wears out and the fan shakes and vibrates makes a lot of noise. What you're looking at here is actually the broken part that I took out. I did not throw it away because I wanted to see exactly what's wrong with the fan. So in this video I'll take it apart and see if we can diagnose a problem. Now looking at this fan assembly, you see there are two fans. The one that's having a problem is the one on the left here. If I grab the fan and move this, you can see there's play when I move it up and down. Whereas on the other one, there's no movement here. So let's go ahead and take this apart. Right here is an 8mm nut. Now to remove the nut, you actually have to turn this clockwise. If I grab the drive shaft here, I can feel the movement. Now as a comparison, I'm going to go ahead and remove the other fan blade. And I'll do the same thing, grab the drive shaft and wiggle it. There's absolutely no movement, it's solid. Now I'll flip this around. I'm going to go ahead and remove the controller. The motor assembly is held in by three torque screws right here. Unclip the wiring harness and then you remove this motor. And again, when I grab the drive shaft and wiggle it, you can hear it. Now looking at this bearing, from what I can tell, the outer part of this bearing is what's moving, this ring right here. To open this up, there are a bunch of metal tabs all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now some of these debris I believe is from the brush, it's not metal shaving. So let me vacuum that up. I'll remove these brush. So now that I have the rotor separated from the case and this part that's worn out, I zoomed in on this ball bearing. It's made by NMB and the part number is 608Z. Looking at how this ball bearing is installed, if you flip it on this side, you see there is a washer right here that sits on top of the ball bearing. And that's why you see these notches here. So the machine pushing these little tabs to hold this washer in. So if you want to replace this bearing, you need to first remove this washer and then you push this ball bearing out. And seeing how this is put together, I really don't think this motor is serviceable. Perhaps if you have the right tool, maybe you can attempt this repair. But for me, I'm going to stop right here. But I really wanted to dissect this fan assembly because many of you that own a Nissan Pathfinder or Infiniti QX60, the fan assembly failure is a very common problem. So by taking this apart, I hope this video will give you an idea what's wrong with the fan motor. And for some of you that's more mechanically knowledgeable, Perhaps you can try to repair this. Whether you're successful or not, please share your experience in the comment section below. Another option you have instead of trying to fix the motor is you can actually buy a replacement motor 
and change this whole thing out. Now the part number for this motor with a gray connector, the part number is M157981 and it's made by the company Nidec. Now this motor has a gray connector. The other fan that has a brown connector has a different part number for that motor. I'm going to go ahead and take that out and I'll show that to you. This motor with a brown connector has part number M157983. Now from what I've seen on the internet, one of these motors will cost about $80 to $90. So replacing both of these motors will be about $180 to $200. And honestly, I don't know the longevity of this specific motor. If these have failed in so many Nissan vehicles, what's to say the replacement part is just as crappy as these ones? Also at that price, you can get a very good quality aftermarket part for around $180. Now for those of you who have not done the repair and you're just researching the issue, I have a very good detailed video on how to replace that fan assembly. I'll link it at the end of this video and also include the link in the description below. For any other parts mentioned in this video, I'll also include the link below. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.